Our next guest has done it all. Award-winning movie roles, hit singles, incredible stage shows and everything in between. But I uh, don't think she's about to settle with that. Sheila <laughs> Clark's been treading the boards each night in the West End's hit musical Mary Poppins and what a show to it's be amazing. part of. What oh, a show! Like, what, what a, a show! show. To applause. And I you've seen it as well, I haven't see you? It. it was fantastic. The set, the costumes, the energy, yes. it was everything you wanted to be. It yes, really there's a lot of wonderful. energy coming off that stage. There really Amazing. is. There really is. And when you got the call, you'd just finished touring. And so you got this call to then say, yes. right, do you want to be part of this? I imagine you were thinking, right, get to the end of the tour, have a bit of time off. But, oh, no, yeah. not the case. Well, I got the call and they said, we, we're delighted if you would join our new production of Mary Poppins. So it was a bit of a pause. I said, yes, <laughs> what would I do in Mary Poppins? And he said, well, there's a song called Feed the Birds. Uh -huh. I said, yeah, I know that one. Uh, he said, we, we would like you to do it. I said, just one song? Now, I'm used to going on and doing <laughs> a uh, lot oh, of songs. Sure. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. And that's what I do. And uh, it's, it's the bird woman. And uh, she's this rather curious character. We're not quite sure what she's about. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, call, I spoke to my son, who was, who was in the States, and he said, he hasn't seen the show. He said, so what, you have a lot of dialogue? I said, not really. <laughs> I, I have one line. He said, oh, yes, what is it? And I said... Feed the birds, dears, only tuppence a bag. <laughs> he said, is that a Cockney accent you're doing? <laughs> I said, yeah, I think so. <laughs> he said, well, why? I said, well, that's a good question. I think the bird woman is a Cockney. Yes. I well, you created is. a whole backstory for her, didn't you? In, your, in, your in head, my mind, sort of I did, For yes. fun, yeah. So who, who, is, who is your bird woman? What's her background? I, well, I think she was probably a grand lady once, because the costume suggests that too. Mm. But she's sort of fallen by the wayside a bit. She's probably homeless. Yeah. Uh, but she's she's one of these spiritual creatures. Yes. We're not quite sure. Well, what it's she is. Um, I mean, it's it's an iconic role, really. Yes. That song is absolutely iconic. And although it may just be one song and one line. It has led you to be nominated for Best Supporting Actress at Olivia Awards and you have been taken <laughs> completely by surprise with I, this. I don't understand it. I really don't. Because there are several ladies in the show who really deserve it. So <laughs> I don't understand these things. You know. Sometimes you just come and light up the stage, though, even with that. And it, you were yeah. wonderful in it. I'm, sure. I'm very flattered. And, um, and for you, I was quite surprised after, after all of the things you've done that you still get a bit nervous. Oh, yes. Do you? Why? Well, I think it's a sign of good health to be nervous. You know, just a bit. Too nervous is, can be shattering. Yeah. Um, I don't know about... Do you ever get nervous? I, I think uh, um, at the beginning yeah. of a, of a, a, new of a series big series. Yeah. First show of Dancing on Ice, yeah. if we did the first show. Definitely. You don't get nervous after that, but the first one, yeah, mm, definitely. Of course. I'm always nervous about the responsibility that you're sort of carrying on your That's shoulders. That's right. You know, I've got... A, uh, sh uh, a record coming out that was done at the Albert Hall back Nin in... 1974. Yes, it's, yes, it's being re-released. And I, it, I can't help thinking, the first time I sang at the Albert Hall, I was about eight. Oh. And before I went on, I was reading a comic and somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, Petula, you're on. I dog-eared my page, went on, did the thing, apparently pulled the place down came off stage and went back to my comic as if nothing had happened. Wow. Now, when yeah. I do the Albert Hall, yeah. <laughs> like this. Well, yeah, I mean, this is... It, I think it's a really great idea. So this was a landmark concert at the Albert Hall on February the 14th, 1974, um, and it's being made available as a, as a collector's edition. And it was an, um, one of those perfect nights when everything comes together. Yes, that's very true. It was a Valentine's Day concert with a huge orchestra and my own rhythm section, and it just happened. You know, yeah. there are nights when, as the, the French would say, l'ange a passé, the angel was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. And do you still love singing those, uh, those songs downtown? You know, do you, uh, do you still oh, love yeah, them? Oh, yeah, of course. I think I'm just about ready to do them again now. <laughs> I've been singing Feed the Birds every night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's yeah, not forget, it. I put you back in the charts. All those years ago when we were... I know. Yeah, launched... We, we, we had a campaign when I was doing it in the broom cupboard and the kids' stuff, and we decided we were going to get Petula because we love downtown so much and we put you back in the charts. <laughs> That's yes. incredible. I remember it well. <laughs> I'm very yes. happy about that. Um, you also, uh, sort of growing up and sort of being in the same industry together, Julie Andrews was a friend and you, you went on tour together, is that right? 
with Julie Andrews. Oh, oh, oh well, that's going back a bit. Uh, when we were kids, yeah. because, you know, we were both child prodigies, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, we used to go and entertain the troops and we would travel in troop trains. We would sleep in the luggage racks. We were both very thin. <laughs> and we would get off not knowing where we were because it was all in a blackout, of course. And we would sing for the Brits, the Canadians, the Americans, the free French, whoever, you know. Yeah. And she remembers it very well, Julie. Yeah. 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 And, and for both of you, you seem to um, have been very lucky in the fact that you were both, as you said, you know, eight years old, you go out and sing a massive concert and then go back to your comic. <laughs> uh, you both seem to have been lucky to have got through that unscathed uh, because so many child performers don't. Yes, but we were children in England. It was during the war. You know, we weren't in Hollywood. You know, in Hollywood, uh, child performers were treated differently. You know, MGM, they had tutors and all that kind of thing. You know, we were roughing it, you know, like most people, you know, during the war. And uh, it's, it changes the way you are. I think we're sort of made with steel, you know, in our spines. Quite right too. That's a funny thing to say. What am, no, I you know what no, I, mean. I totally understood. It's really lovely Stand to see up straight. you. Thank anyway. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mary Poppins at the Prince Edward Theatre. Now, as you can see, I mean, what a it's what wonderful. a show, what a performance. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.